Okay, so once we have done all the work of um, doing our forms, deploy them, and everything is ready, it's time to, to get your tablets or your phones, smartphones, and parameterize them correctly so they can hook up to your server in Kobo Toolbox. So you can go to Google Play and download this application called Kobo Collect. And then once it's ready, you open it. Right now we are in the version uh, 11 version 1.14.0a and uh, this is what I'm going to be showing you today mm, right now uh, the first thing we have to do is to connect our Cobalt Collect application with our server to do that we click on the three little dots in the in the top right here and then we go to general settings and server these three type of servers Cobo Toolbox, Google Drive or others I'm going to only talk about Kobo Toolbox because it's the only one I have, I use. And then you type uh, the URL is https two dots uh, forward slash forward slash ck dot humanitarian response dot info. And then you use your username. Here we'll put a dummy one called NCA test. And then you would type your password here. I'm going to type a dummy password here and then uh, I'm going to cancel so it's, it's just so it doesn't show in the code later on and you don't have all my password <laughs> um, that will get it set and then uh, we can go to the user interface and decide language of the of the application we can also t change the text if you need people if people needs bigger bigger, bigger um, um, bigger font size you can change the way you navigate so you can do horizontal swipes or buttons or both you can have like a small uh, picture that comes in the beginning of the application like maybe with the logo of your organization and mapping I never touched so I don't really know in form management the things that I think are interesting is to have this auto send in Wi-Fi or cellular so whenever you up your your device will have um, internet connection it will automatically try to send the forms and you don't have to be worrying about pushing them or not uh, after filing I also like to sorry in, for, in form submission I also like to have this delete after send always uh, finalized uh, always ticked so whenever you had uh, sent and this and the form is safely um sent to the to the Kobo toolbox uh, server it gets deleted from your device this is good in my opinion because you liberate space if you have a lot of pictures or audio or video in your forms and also because of data protection so you don't have like 20 tablets going around with uh, personal data or gps location and pictures of people for 15 days that your exercise is going to last and or you don't have to delete them one by one Mm, the rest, uh, I think that well, high resolution video I never use, but you can have it uh, enabled. And the image size, you can have either the default from the camera, but I like to limit it a little bit to medium because we don't, we don't, I don't use the pictures to be printed or anything. So it's just like for reports or things like that. So I don't need high quality. With the type of tablets and phones that we use, you're not going to get great pictures anyway. I think, but um, yeah. Also, I type. Uh, this one of uh, finalized form on import also then in uh, in a user and device id if you go to metadata it's interesting for me usually to have a username in each of the tablets so like this you would know who is collecting so for example if under this nca underscore test i'm going to have 20 person who do that account for for an exercise I will give them names like tablet one, tablet two, tablet three, and then you can trace who's doing what, uh, what, uh, what form, and you can try to you can uh, follow up uh, a little bit on on the quality and things like that. So it's always good to know who's doing what. You can even phone, put a phone number or email address if you want. And uh, yeah, this I would I would just leave it like this. And then you will be ready to move on again to the three little dots and go as an admin settings. 
And then now uh, in admin settings you have, you can restrict more things. You can f have some extra menus to parameterize other, other tablets and also constrain the access that the people is going to have to the to the um, to the applications when they log, log in as normal users not admin so they may be not able to delete things or change things that you don't want to so first uh, you can come here and enter a new password i already put mine you can reset the application you can change different things one a very important one that I like a lot is this import and export setting where you can, um, for example, parameterize one tablet or phone as you like. In this case, this this one. And once you get this code, you just come to the next tablet with the next tablet. And when you are in this um, screen, you click in a scan code from another tablet. And then you will just go to your previous tablet and scan that code. And then it will automatically make a copy of that tablet exact copy with all the passwords and everything if you don't want to have the password you could click in the in this um in this little message here here and then remove passwords so you could remove this the admin password sorry include the server password but not the admin password so people don't be able to change it later on and uh, but this is very i think in my opinion this is a very important feature because it saves you so much time when you have to parameterize 20 tablets that you would spend before like one hour or two hours typing like a monkey and now you can do it in in two minutes uh then as i told you you can also restrict the access to the to the mm, to the application by people that are not this the the admin and then you can include or remove what they're going to see so for example if you uncheck get blank form and delete save form right when you go to the main one the main screen now you don't have them here so effectively your enumerators cannot get new forms and cannot delete the, the forms they have already selected which sometimes is interesting depends how much you trust the people that is doing this work for you so you can do this for edit, for send, for view. So if you remove all of them, they will only be able to fill a blank form. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and have them all selected. And then we moved on to the, to the next one, the user settings. You can unhide also from user setting things. So they, if you hide server, they won't be able to change the server the metadata if you hide it they won't be able to change it auto send anything you remove from here they won't be able to see later on when you go to when they go to this general settings right so they don't see here for example the auto send anymore and admin settings and I think it was here. Yeah, so now they will see everything. So there's a lot, a lot of options that you can tick and tick to give more or less freedom to your enumerators. And then form entry settings. Similarly, you can prevent people from going, going backwards. Or you can uh, mm, hide them from, uh, from the entry. You can hide so people don't, is not able to change the language or they cannot go to, straight to a prompt, or they cannot save, or they cannot name. Okay, so that would be everything you need to know about, but you, you can have about, yes, you can go to visit the website, leave a review, of course, if you if you think this is software is great, so it's encouraging for the people that use this. And remember, it's open source, so you can have here like a little bit of what type of libraries and things they use. Not that I know what it means. <laughs> mm, with this, uh, your tablet would be completely parameterized and then uh, you can go ahead.